Joe Biden. I don't know. Hey everybody, Skyrim Link here. Welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy XII Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Edition. No, I'm kidding. No, Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age. Last time, we arrived here in Bujerba, and we met ourselves a Lamont. A good, a good dude Lamont, who is going to accompany us into the Luju Mines. And today, we are going, we are here in the Luju Square, right in front of said mines, and we are going to pro progress forward to save Pinello, because my gosh, she needs us. The Lusu Mines, one of the richest veins in Ivalice. Under Imperial Guard, no doubt. Actually, no. With but few exceptions, the Imperial Army is not permitted within Gujerba. Well, shall we proceed? Shall we proceed indeed? Whoa, look at this sick lighting, bro. Alright, party lineup. Um, now that we've got more than three characters in a party at once, minus Lamont, of course, I do have a set way of rotating through characters. I'll have the finalized way we're going to do it uh, once we get everybody, everybody. Don't worry, there's still more characters to come. But usually... I'll explain what I usually do. I usually have three characters on the lineup. As soon as, let's say, Vaughn gets to level 10, we switch him out, and then we put Fran in. Something like that. And uh, that's usually how I do it. Um, LP is shared across all characters, no matter what. So, And same thing with experience, so don't worry about that. Actually, no, experience, never mind, no. LP is shared across everybody, that's true. Experience is not gotta correct myself so apologize for that mistake L one more time before we move on LP is shared across everybody like let's say we get two LP like we kill two enemies we get two LP everyone gets that two LP but only let's say if I have Vaughn, Balthier, and Bosch in the party only they get the experience are we clear? Capiche? Capiche. Alright let's just let's just commence forth down to the Luju Mines I mean, we're technically already in there, but we gotta proceed forward. You will forgive me for asking, but you are diverting the purest of the Magicite. I can assure you it reaches Lord Vane most discreetly. <laughs> You wear your saddle well. Be that as it may, I have no intention of being bridled, Your Honor. Then you prefer the whip? Stubbornness will see not only you broken, Excellency, but Bujerba as well. Ondor the Fourth, the Marquis of Bujerba. The Marquis served as mediator at the negotiations of Damascus' surrender. It would appear that he is somewhat less neutral now. They say he's been helping the resistance. They say many things. You're certainly well informed. Who did you say you were again? What difference does it make? We have to find Penelo. And Penelo is your. She's a friend. She was kidnapped and taken here. Halim Andor the Fourth. We have heard that name before in cutscenes, and we've heard his voice in particular before. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, he is the narrator of the in-between cutscenes that we saw in the very first episode. 
All right, starting off. Hey, Steely! Spies in disguise over here. Oh man, look at us. We're doing hundreds of damage now per hit. Oh man, we are doing good. And these guys get decent experience, you know. And we were so used to like 20, 10, 15 experience. Now we're getting like 30, which I know still isn't a lot. Oh, whoa, that looks cool. That looks cool. Look, did you see all those blue lines, bro? And, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you one of the best places to grind early game. We're not at the exact point yet, but I've been alluding to a spot where I consider to be very good for grinding early on. And I'm happy to say that we are now officially in that area. We're not there yet, but in the exact uh, area I would recommend, but um, here it is. Uh, new enemy, Skull Defender. Um, these guys can be, I would say, the most dangerous. They can be kind of difficult because... There will be times where they will attack in groups, and that's why I say that's where they're when they're most dangerous. But when they're just together, or just by themselves, uh, they're, they're nothing really. There ain't nothing to scoff about. Nothing to scoff about. Um, there are multiple types of them. Oh, oh no, skeletons. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, skeletons. Spooky, scary skeletons. They sent shivers down your spine. Um, oh man, Larsa, you, I, I mean, I was, shit. I just spoiled, well, actually, no. Spoiler, uh, actually, no, 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 If you know, you know, if you don't, you don't know. Lamont, homeboy Lamont. We'll just ignore that, we'll just ignore what I said, don't worry. I mean, if you got a keen eye, if you played this game before, well then, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, but... If you're new, just bear with me. It'll all make sense soon enough. Um, so... As we're kind of just going through this place, killing all these enemies, um, I will like to explain in a little bit. Um, we're also going to explain chains, finally. This is a good place, uh... To um, uh, really talk about that. Anyway, uh, Lamont. I think I went over this last time whenever we checked his gambits, but Lamont is more of a healer than anything. So, because you've you've seen how we've been kind of taking some hits here and there, and uh, you know it, it kind of hurt. Oh, I got oh, giving me new targets to talk about. Anyway, oh, there's Kira for you. I know, I, I was excited about Kira on uh, Fran's uh, license board, and now you see why. You see, that was like a full heal for everybody. Lamont's will get to you in a second, you're a healer, yada yada yada. That, what I just stepped on, was a trap. Traps are the closest thing you'll get to a jump scare in this game, because holy crap, these things scare the crap out of me, because that's when I least expect them to show up. I knew there were traps in this area. Again, I know where all the traps are in the game, but sometimes I forget. So, um, like the exact locations, but I do know where there's areas where there are traps to be found. And this is our first example of an area with traps. That was an explosion trap. Um, that is an AOE trap, so if I stepped into it with everybody, um, I believe you noticed that, like, Vaughn didn't take too much damage, but someone like Bosch, he took quite the heavy hit. Like, that nearly killed him. Which is why Lamont went into super ultra awesome mode and freaking healed everyone like the boss he is. Like the boss she is. Hey -o. Nah, but uh, there are more types of traps than just explosion ones. But explosion traps are like the most common that you're going to be finding throughout your journey. And if they catch you off guard, they can be kind of dangerous. And you also have to be aware of your surroundings because... Um, well, characters like to wander around a little bit. Um, I see enemies respawning as much as I would love to try and kill them all. Uh, I'm not too concerned about that, so I'm just gonna kill these guys and I'm gonna head in. We're gonna make some more progress. Um, Lose Your Minds, I think I have the map for this place. It's pretty big, to be frank. Like, there's a quite a bit to explore. We're not exploring all of it. I I'm sorry. Main story-wise, we only have to go to a certain point. Spoiler alert, we don't gotta go... I mean, we kinda gotta go deep into it, but, uh... In your window once? Months? Months? No. In your window much? 
Um, hello, stealing H. Stealing. <laughs> Gotta make the noise with the mouth. Um, so yeah, we won't be exploring all of this place. Maybe at a future date? I don't know. Ooh, it's been snatch, snatch. Um, here. Here we got explosion trap. That wasn't too bad, thankfully. Um, here we have, um, this nice little hallway. There are traps lingered about the place, so I would recommend being careful. Um, but here, um, I don't know if whether I'm going to do it here. You know what? No, I'll save it for the next area. There's more rooms like this in the future. Um, so the thing to be careful with with traps is that they can easily just wipe a party. Maybe not now. And, uh, oh, Balthier, you're showing off the example of what, I'm, what I want to do. You see, Balthier grew to level 10. Now we're going to get Fran in the party. Yeah. Yeah, Fran. Fran. Shoot the skeleton. And Vaughn is now level 10, so... Bye, buddy. Um, you know what? Let's play as Fran. We play as Balthier for a bit. Bosch will get his time in the spotlight soon. Um, let's play as Fran. Um, I will say, there are traps down in these like tiny little crevices down here, so what I recommend doing is... Sorry, Fran, you're going to be the guinea pig here. What I recommend doing is you run through this with one character, so that way you don't get yourself a game over. Um, best case scenario, uh, Larsa will heal you. So I recommend you just kind of walk through this. Take it easy. Um, I don't think I mentioned this before about MP, but MP heals as you walk around. Not while you're in battle, but while, as you, like, walk around the field, um, MP will slowly, slowly but surely, um, start healing up. There are ways to make it faster with, uh, license points. There are nodes on the license board on certain characters and classes that uh, allow this. Um, ooh, 115 gil, not bad. Uh, any more traps? No? Uh, ooh, there's another type of trap. Sometimes God will bless you and you will get the rejuvenation trap, which heals the entire party. Not fully, but it'll heal it for a certain extent. But you know, that's nice of them. Uh, who was it? It was Balthier and Bosch, I believe. Um, let's just proceed forward. We're doing pretty good on levels. I'm not too concerned. Um, eh, there's this little hallway we can check out, sure. Um, one thing when, uh, because I made Fran an archer, one thing you want to do with Fran and you want to keep, keep track of is, uh, do not get close to enemies. You're a ranged attacker. You can't, I mean, I guess you could walk up to their face and be like, haha, I'm gonna shoot you straight in the eye. Numerology! Um, sorry, I'm getting a lot of stuff to talk about. Um, numerology. What is that? That is a technique. Technic. Deal damage that increases with successive hit hits. License needed numerology. Okay, that one's actually not that bad. Oh! No! Hey! Hey! No! Oh! I'm gonna back up. Uh, 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 there's a... Uh, Another type of trap. That was a blinding smoke trap. That blinds the party. See why... In the terms of traps, if there's one person who's never going to get hit during battle, it's Fran. Because she's far away. That's one of the reasons why I did like making her an archer and a ranged attacker. Because pretty soon she's going to have some healing on herself, as we saw with the... With the, uh... Uh, whatchamacallit. Um... I think I can make you. What kind of magics you got? You have blind now. I'm gonna make you use that on. Oh, you're already. You're already doing that. You're already on it, Lamont. I'm proud of you. Um. Uh, what was I saying? I like making Fran an archer so that way she can steer clear of traps. She'll be right behind everyone so that way, in the off chance that they do walk into a trap, if they all die, unfortunately, she will still be alive. And that's what I like. That's just my recommendation if you... Again, there are many lineups. Like, uh, I've seen people go other things. Like, they make Fran use guns. I remember my first playthrough, I didn't make her an archer first things first. I made her a gun user. I eventually switched over to archer, but, uh... You know, that's for a later story. We'll get there when we get there. I feel like that's one of my biggest problems when talking about a game. 
have played before countless times. It's like, sometimes I end up alluding to future stuff. Like, in terms of the story, I think I've done a pretty good job on that front, but in terms of gameplay mechanics, I've seemed to sometimes actually just straight up just say, oh yeah, don't worry about this. I mean, it's nice to allude, but, uh, I don't like kind of focusing on it, but, uh, focusing on it? I mean, no, I gotta focus on the topic eventually. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going nuts, but, oh boy. Oh boy, 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 boy. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. First things first, we're gonna go through this room normally. We're just gonna take it nice, slow, easy pace. Get hit. Kinda get in the middle of the crossfire. Uh, ball fear is poisoned. Uh, ball fear, you just attacked, so I'm gonna make you use an antidote. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, there we go. We are doing stuff. Uh, uh, the skeleton is a skeleton mage. They cast, like, protect and all that stuff. They can be kind of annoying. This is where I say skeletons are the most dangerous because you can see them. They just keep on popping up in, uh, in groups. So it can be kind of overwhelming. Is it anything to worry about, though? When it's all said and done? Not really, but if they catch you off guard, they can be kind of dangerous. That's all I really have to say about them. Um, ooh, Lamont, you're leveling up. Ooh, ooh. ooh oh boy. Ooh, ooh, Fran, you are now level 10. Um, you just got level 10, so, uh, um, you know, let's play, let's play as Bosch. Let's play as Bosch. Let's switch it up a little bit. Vaughn's my homeboy. I know Vaughn gets a lot of flack, but I don't discuss that when we get to there. Um, but uh, I like Vaughn, which is why I tend to play as him the most whenever it comes to party leader, but I'm gonna try to, like, be Captain Variety. You know? I gotta promote Variety. I am poisoned. Ouch. Ouch, that hurts. Uh, Antidote, where are you? I need you. But we're doing fine. We doing mighty fine. Um, since we're just fighting skeletons in this room, this is a good idea to explain chains. We kind of saw this function, how it works in Nalbana. Oh, alright, okay, never mind, Bolt, Bosh, you're out of here. Uh, Fran, here you go, you're back. Um, chains are very helpful if you want to get some good loot, because you notice as we kill enemies, uh, you know enemies, they drop loot when you, when they die. And then every time we kill a same enemy of, like, a same, uh, enemy type, like, for example, multiple skeletons, you see the chain, the chain icon down there. And so, when we kill things of the same enemy type again and again and again, our chain level goes up. And because it goes up, um, eventually, after a certain point, um, the loot we start getting will get better. Like, instead of just, like, a simple gray, hairy bag, it's now a silver coin with a bag icon on it, and we get more loot. Ouchie! Ouchie, ouch. Um, we get better loot from it, and also, there's a chance that we can get healed. Eventually, it can spawn into a gold, uh, a gold icon, and we can get even more from that. And that, with the gold icons, pretty much every time you get it, you're pretty much getting a guaranteed heal. Why do I bring this up now? Because right now, in this room, I recommend this is the, one of the best spots for grinding early game. Because, especially in the Zodiac Age version, you can, like, go, like, lightning fast. Because, because I walked down there, look at this. They respawn. Yeah. Yeah. And because of that, we can get more license points, we can get more LP. You, oh my gosh, that... He ignored the whole party and just went over there. I was like, hey, I'm gonna smack that Fran over there. What a monster! What a beast! Oh, see, there's that silver bag for you right there. That's a prime example. That's a prime, prime example. And look, more skeletons. Ah. So yeah, I recommend if you're feeling like you're under leveled a little bit, 
even though, like I said a million times, again and again and again, I will continue to preach this till the end of the Let's Play, I swear to God. Um, levels don't matter, uh, Fall Fear, you are now level 11, but you're targeted, so I can't switch you out, so you get one extra fight, lucky you. Um, uh, you're no longer targeted, so let's get Bosh out here, yet again. Um, oh, look at that color of the chain, it's now 20. Nice. Um, levels don't matter, but LP, this is great grinding for LP, but if you feel like you just gotta get your levels up, now is where I say, if you wanna grind, here's your first opportunity to. In fact, if I recommend something even better, I recommend actually coming back once Lamont eventually leaves the party. Because you know how guests work, they're not gonna stay here forever and ever and ever, you understand that, right? Um... I think they explained that whenever we had Amalia join us for a little bit. Um, so, because there's four people amongst the group, among us, no, um, because there's four people in the group, uh, the experience is shared across four different people. So, if you want to, if you just kind of want to wait a little bit uh, for grinding, I recommend coming here after once Lamont eventually leaves. And another thing to note, um, this is not forever. Oh my god, Bosh, what are you. Did you see that? My voice is going high. Bosh just did the six hit combo. Bro, my homie. Oh my Bosh, um, speed up feature. Work your magic. Let's get across the hallway very quickly. Sonic speed. Yeah, even with Zodiac Age, it's even better. Like, look at this. Look at this. I barely. By the time you kill everything going through the loop, they already respawn. Uh, I'm not going to record all my grinding since, again, all we're getting is levels, so... For future grinding locations, I'll mention them. Um, Balthier, you're back in the fray. Uh, let's play as Balthier. Um, for future grinding sessions, I won't be showing it for the full time. Like, I might show the start of it, just saying, hey, this is a good area for grinding. You should grind here if you have the chance. Um... But like for so just just this once I'm gonna show pretty much the whole thing because these guys do eventually despawn So it's good. This is good to a certain extent. It's nice to get these characters up to like level 11 ish, which is nice well, On my first playthrough they were literally only level 8 at this point I think, Which is still not a bad level like I said levels. They don't ultimately la matter All too much. I think Fran just grew to level 11 11, I want to say. I think she just did. I think she did. Um, Bond, get your butt back in here. Mm, we are making some good progress. Um, oh, whoa! Oh, jeez, I accidentally pressed the speed up. No, stop. He's dead. But if you look at the skeletons, they give us literally straight up, like, nearly 100 experience per death. Uh, I'm going to loop through one more time just to double check, make sure nothing else respawns and if they if they stop spawning I'll move on and I think I think we've exhausted this to the point oh wait, oh, 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 oh wait, no, 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 we got a skeleton we got a skeleton we got a lone contender, fellas he wants to go down for the count, a free antidote Let's see if we're even getting replenishing on our thing. oh no, Lamont, we gotta save him don't worry, Lamont, we're coming to save you. We'll stop the bad man from hurting you, Lamont. 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 Oh man, they're already coming back. Skeleton N. N from Pokemon uh, Black and White? Is that you? Um, Alright, one more loop, and if nothing happens, then we're moving on. Even though... I, I know it's like, they eventually stopped, but hey, that's some freaking good experience. Yeah, actually, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead from now on. This is the last round of more enemies spawn, that's great. If not, it's not the end of the world. Because we need to get a move on, ladies and gentlemen. We need to save Pinello. It's no time to be walking in circles, killing the same enemies again and again and again. Even though there are clearly benefits to that, as I'm literally displaying right now. Ooh. Ooh, look at those benefits. Ooh. Mm. Look at that. Alright, there's nothing more here, but hey, good grinding, good grinding. Vaughn is now almost at 500 HP. Which is nice. 
He's got more than Bosch by like four points. Um, hey, even more skeletons. Um, the chain will break. Another thing to say about chains. Chains will break if you kill, like, if I kill a stealing right now, like after the skeleton, um, I will lose the streak. And all that, that really, really sucks, you know. Hey, a 41 streak is not that bad. That's some good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Um, you, Mr. Chest, I want you. An arrow mote, wind damage. It's nice. Um, we can go up, but we don't need to go up there. I'm just going the normal way. Story progress wise, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, actually, I don't think we can progress. We're pretty much at the tail end of this place. Die, skeleton. At least they're just throwing skeletons at us, so I can at least just build this up until we get to the designated story area. You know how it is. Die. Ooh, chain level up. Aw, we're not gonna get to experience it too much. That we, that's when we can start getting gold level items, gold tier items, and now it's like, ah. Don't worry, there's even, there's like an even better place to actually grind in the future. So, this isn't the de facto place. This isn't the number one place. Oh, Kira Mote. That's not bad. That's basically a free Kira. Uh, Kira. Uh, gravity. That's a free gravity. Um, not sure what gravity does. To the internet. No, I'm kidding. No, no. Let's check. Let's check this right now. Gravity Mote. Reduces HP of all foes in range by one-fourth of target's max HP. It can, it can work. Anyways, let us proceed forward. This is what I came here to see. What's that? It's nethocyte. Manufactured nethocyte. Nethocyte? Unlike regular magicite, nethocyte absorbs magical energy. This is the fruit of research into the manufacture of Nethocyte. All of the hands of the Draclaw Laboratory. So this is where they're getting the Magicite. Errand all attended to, then? Thank you. I'll repay you shortly. No, you'll repay us now. We have too much on our hands to go on holding yours. So, where did you hear this fairy tale about Nethocyte? And where did you get that sample you carry? What do you know about the Draclaw Laboratories? Tell me, who are you? Balthier. You kept us waiting, Balthier! You <laughs> slipped away in Nalbana! We missed you! First to judge and know this boy! The whole affair has a smell of money about it! I may have to wet my beak a little! Keep your snout in the trough where it belongs. This thinking ill befits you, Bagamnon. Balthier! <laughs> Too long have I gone unpaid. I'll carve my bounty out of that boy. Where's Pinello? We're taking her back. The girl? Why keep the bait when you've landed the fish? We cut her loose on the way here, and then off she ran, crying like a babe. <sighs> hey! <sighs> After them! <sighs> hey, wait up! We'll not be able to take them all. Fight who we must, leave the rest. Welcome to an optional boss fight. Bagamin and his crew. We have Bagamin, Bwagi, Gajuk, and Renok. There are two ways you can handle this moment. We can fight, or we can run. If you feel like you can take them, I'd say fight. But look at how much damage they're doing. They are about to kill Balthier. We gotta get out of here. I'm running. I'm sorry. That's This is a coward's move, but you know what? I've never been good at this fight. There is something special that you do get if you do manage to kill them, but I recommend if you if you know what to do, if you have a strategy perfect for killing them, then by all means, kill them. Free LP. Who's gonna turn that down? And like I said, there is something special that you do get uh, for killing them. You will not be seeing that, though. Not in this playthrough, but uh, I'll be sure to make mention of what it is. Run, little Lamont. And I will say, there is no shame in running away. I'm scared that these guys are going to kill Balthier. 
Run, Malveer, run! Run away! They're gonna get you! Are they attacking the skeletons? Oh, jeez, no, 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 don't do this, Lance Stealing, no, get away, run, Lance Stealing, it's Bagaman and the squad, they're coming, oh god, they're right up there, they're right up there, they're right up there, they're right up there, it's not too hard to outrun them, I'm just freaking hyping this up way more than I should, I mean, come on, it's Bagaman, I can't disrespect Bagamon. He's a bounty hunter. He's basically the Boba Fett of this game. Look at that. Look at that. Little, little janky little stroll. We're saying, oh my god, he's right there. Oh my god. He's gonna kick both here right in the crotch. We gotta get out of here. Oh, it's awful. It's awful. I just saw the saw of Bagamon right up there and it freaking spooked me. Oh god. We gotta run. It would not seem they follow. We've lost them. Much more running about with Bunga at my heels, and I'm apt to give up sky pirating altogether. That right there was a cutscene for if you run away from them. There is a cutscene for if you do manage to kill Bagamnon and the squad. I am going to show that right now. Confound you! I will have my pound of flesh yet, Balthier! So yeah, it's a little something. I'm not actually sure if you get a physical, tangible reward for actually defeating him or not. I would assume that you might. Ah, oh. oh, look at the chain break. But there's that uh, more extra XP uh, coming into play. Uh, Posh, why don't you give Balthier a high potion? He could really use that right now. That was a full heal for him. Now that's what I call free real estate. Mm. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Hey, you show him. You show him how it's done, both here. You show them how to Fortnite. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No. Do not show the people how to Fortnite. <laughs> That's not the way to do it, bro. I won't be going through all the rooms again, killing every single thing. I'll just kind of just kill whatever's on the way. You know how I roll. You know how the Scavenger Link rolls. It's free real estate. Uh, we do get, we did get some good loot, though. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a heck of a fun time selling stuff. Hit that right, Skeleton D. Skeleton D's nuts. Hey yo. Jeez, Final Fantasy XII, you're making me pull out all the dead jokes of, like, the 2000s. The 2000s? Oh, God, no, I'm not that old. I mean, I'm not 18 yet, being frank, but, uh... I'm getting there this year, I'm turning 18. Woo -hoo -hoo. I'm graduating next year, which is nice. Oh, ooh, 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 the slavin! This is, like, one of those things that we saw way back in the Giza Plains. They can be kind of dangerous, but they're not too bad. In fact, we actually just straight up saw this thing slumbering um, as we just straight up ignore this thing. We're just ignoring it. We're just killing plant stealings all around. Uh, Bosh, you are now level 13, but I can't switch you out. See, Bosh is... He's among us. He's... So bad. I'm so sorry. I keep on mentioning this stuff without even trying. I swear to god, I'm not like this in real life. I don't mention Among Us. In fact, actually, if you ask me, I don't even like playing Among Us. I don't even own it. I don't like Among Us that much. I think the game itself is fine. If you enjoy it, that's great. I'm glad you enjoy something I don't. But I just never really got into it. I played it, like, right before it became the hip new thing. Why am I talking about Among Us while playing Final Fantasy XII? I don't know. This game is so good, it really brings the beast out of man. Now let's get back out of here. I see you have been out walking without the company of your cortege, Lord Lhasa.
We caught her wandering out of the mines. You must take care with such undesirables about. I was kidnapped. Silence. And... If it is a crime to wander on one's own, then I too am guilty. Marquis, I trust that your estate can accommodate another guest. Why not? Judge Geese, I shall heed your counsel. I will not travel unaccompanied any longer. That was unexpected. Thank you, Penelo. Uh, of course. What's Penelo doing? And what's the deal with that Lamont? That's no Lamont. Lhasa Ferina Solidor, fourth son to Emperor Grammys and brother to Vane. What? That kid? Do not worry. I believe he will treat her well. Nobody knows men like Fran does. Our purposes lead the same way, to Ondor. We must find means to approach him. The Marquis is channeling money to organizations opposing the Empire. We'll start there. Man, the Emperor is just slamming on Judge Geese. First we got the Marquis laying it down all over him, and then we got Lamont, a.k.a. Well, actually, he's not Lamont anymore. Larsa Fernias Solidor, fourth son to Emperor Gramis and brother to Vane. We don't even know who Gramis is, but we've heard mentions of him. I guess he's the Emperor of Arcadia. Intention. Much nod. Man, everyone's just slamming Judge Geese, bro. I'm totally, I'm down with everyone. Everyone's cool in my book if they're slamming Judge Geese. Ah, ain't it lovely? Ain't it lovely? Marquis Andor announced my execution two years ago. If news of my survival were to spread, the Marquis may find his position compromised. The men he's been funding bear little love for the Empire. They won't be thrilled to discover that rumors of your death were, in fact, greatly exaggerated. If we were to raise a clamor to that effect, we might just get their attention. Nothing to it. I'll just go around town spreading the word. How about this? I'm Captain Bosch von Rotzenberg of Dalmasca. Well, what do you think? That certainly qualifies as a clamor. All right, Vaughn, get to it. For the girl's sake, eh? Oh, and the more people around to witness your little performance, the better. If we're going to reach the Marquis, it's up to you. We'll be waiting here if you need us. As if it couldn't get any better. So, we managed to get through the Luju Mines in one piece. Managed to find... Well, we didn't find Pinello, but we ran into Bagamna and the squad in there. We learned that Lamont was actually Larsa. Brother of Ain, fourth son to Emperor Gramis. I'm repeating that sentence for the rest of my life. And now we know our next goal. We need to get the attention of Marquis, Marquis Andor by screaming that we are Captain Bosch von Ransenberg, Ransenberg of Dalmasca. And next time on Final Fantasy XII, Final? No, Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age, we begin what is considered by many to be the most notorious part of this entire game. See you guys then.